Hi, my name is Valentine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a hyper-realistic nose skin texture. So without wasting your time, grab your tools and we get it started. Step one, I'm going to draw my sketch real quick. Make sure you sharpen your pencils for better results. I begin shading with an HB pencil. It is easy to shade if you begin shading your first layer with an HB pencil. But make sure it is sharp enough. I am blocking the dark values and which is the nostril. Later on, after shading with an HB pencil, I grab a tissue paper to blend. After blending in the values, I grab an HB pencil to emphasize a little bit on the values. And then I use a blending stamp to smoothen the edges on the nostril so that I can have that smooth transition of values. On a second layer, I'm going to use charcoal powder to, to shade because, you know, using charcoal powder is a little bit faster and it saves more time. So I'm using a dry brush to shade. While shading with charcoal powder, make sure that you avoid putting too much charcoal powder on the dry brush. You have to build layer by layer. And using charcoal powder gives me a nice smooth skin texture. And then I grab a 4B pencil to emphasize on the dark values. Later on, I grab an HB pencil to fill in the gaps that I left while shading with charcoal powder. Sometimes you can realize that you have some white gaps. So what you have to do is just get uh, an HB pencil, then apply little pressure while shading, while filling the gaps. Later on, I grab a dry brush to blend in. I realized that I still have some white dots, so I have to grab again my HP pencil to fill in the gaps.
So right now I can see that I have a nice smooth skin texture. Now it's time to put now the skin texture. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw half circles. I'm going to draw half circles randomly. The effect creates very tiny pimples and then on top of it I'm going to, uh, I'm grabbing uh, an electric eraser to put some highlights on top of it very tiny dots I am drawing very tiny half circles and some a little bit bigger than the others And some parts of the skin, the skin texture is a little bit different. So on the side of the cheek, I begin with dots and then later on I put some dot, dotted highlights. Same as on the nose, some parts of the skin texture is, is a little bit different. Some parts I do have circles, others I begin with dots. Then alongside the dots I put highlights with an electric eraser. And then I grab a needed eraser on soft highlights.
Lela Rona grab a white charcoal pencil to draw very short gray hair that pops out of the skin pores. By the way, I also have another video on how to draw skin texture, so you can watch it after this video.